One time yeah. someone pressed my soft spot too hard when I was nine. <laughs> Dissociating. I've seen you do this. <laughs> Me? Yes. Okay, Twinkerbell. <laughs> I want to get in Connor Francis' lane. I do have a headache. I do think it is a brain bleed. <laughs> Thank you for being part of the Alive community. He makes fun of someone who's English, not first language. <laughs> Hey, I'm Nicole. That's Nicole. Oh, that's Nicole. Nicole. That's Nicole. And I'm Jake. That's Jake. Jake. Who's that? And this is Talk and this Nasty. And this is Talk Nasty to me. Come on, bud. Lay down. Here, lay down. You can lay here. <laughs> Be mindful of why you were invited to the Crawl Space podcast. Oh, it worked. That was so <laughs> easy. How, why are we here? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, this is all fiberglass. Like what we're kicking around. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Mm -hmm. No, I really wanted to go into the crawl space today because, well, I wanted to okay. talk to you. <laughs> what? No. So is... what do you want to talk to me about that we couldn't have talked about outside of the crawl oh, space? Oh, well, like, you know, what happens in the crawl space stays in the crawl space. Oh my God, word, girl. <laughs> I, ever since your dad has just shown me this crawl space, I have just oh been so intrigued by it and i knew that it would be like my dying wish to do a podcast in the crawl space no and like every time every time nicole comes over my dad's like you want to see what i've been doing down in the crawl space and i'm like yeah <laughs> yeah yeah and then she gets all disappointed when like he takes her down here and she's like oh this is i'm sorry i just thought crawl space meant something else it's just nice that an older man who like a father figure, not saying that your dad is like a father figure to me. Like, I'm just saying like your dad is a father and like, like he's he not a figure. A figure. <laughs> <laughs> not you. You're like, he has that shape. Ooh. Ooh hourglass. Mr. Thatcher. <laughs> yeah, my dad has curves. <laughs> I uh, just like ever since he, uh, what if he has a recording device in here? What if he's listening to everything that we're saying? Well, this is probably going to be the best really, acoustics ever yeah, for the honestly, podcast because after this, sure. it's going to be all straight up echo and I don't care. <laughs> but no, I just like have always been really, really passionate about this space and this area. Yeah. And like sometimes <laughs> it's like nice to exit the, the, the bathtub and also like you're leaving soon. I know this was I was going to say this was one of our last chances to do this. We only have like four more episodes of the podcast till I until it ends move to yeah, it's, over. it's over and it's I, done and like the you know the the pure part of me dies and I get ran through look he's so sad in New York <laughs> Jake literally sent me nudes and like a whole sex tape the other day and I was like a whole sex tape yeah, Girl, that okay, was only half fine. the story. He sent me whole pics. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, like you're going to change so much. Like I started like shedding a tear. I was like, this is the last time that I'm going to have my friend as the current state that he's in right now. Because after this, he's going to move to New York City and he's going to get ran through. Thank you. Thank you for wanting that for me. I do. I do want that for you. And I Thanks. can see it happening. You've already changed. You signed one lease. You didn't even sign the lease yet. You just gave money to people without signing a <laughs> lease, which is the funniest thing in the world. But like, I did do that. you gave thousands of dollars away and then suddenly you were a whore. Well, I just became like able to to throw my ass in a circle. Right. Yeah. Can we insert the, the older woman? Um, Doing, yes. doing the whole, oh my god i'm obsessed I love with that her video. yes i'll put it right here that's what i really want to learn how to do that's my next talent that's my next like like endeavor Arc. that i'm gonna do yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've, I've lived like seven big. different lives in the last like 24 hours I mean, so have i really mm. Mm -hmm. So maybe not seven a few i um i was chapel roan last night dressed up as chapel roan and then you were uh drunk was, girl at a Halloween party. Literally. I <laughs> puked twice while dressed up as Chapel Roan, mm. which is the most pathetic thing that I could ever do in my entire life because you don't know what like pathetic feels like until you're holding back hair that isn't yours and like <laughs> it's like bright red and, and there's no one else there and like you're wiping your face and it's just like red lipstick and white paint <laughs> and you're like I'm a clown. I'm, lit uh, I'm we literally need to insert a clown. The picture of you after Growing, growing up twice, up, yes, because really, like you were like in shambles. I was like, oh, all the makeup came off. Jake helps me edit, and so basically, like I had to play with the audio this morning and delete like a good solid three or four minutes because it's the audio. I, I delete. I I, I turned Did you off take the, the mic camera. into the bathroom with you. You were like, no, I on. I didn't make it. I threw up in my bedroom. 
The what? second time, yeah. The first time, oh I, my the God. first time I made it to the bathroom, but the second time I didn't make it, and like I turned off the camera. Like it's there's footage of me. Like I, I might as well just leave it in the Chapel Road video because it's it's funny. You you can yeah, leave it. In. But it's like <laughs> me like slowly and steadily getting greener under like the white paint, and then literally then like I'm like, okay, bye, and turning off the camera, leaving the mic on, and then I'm puking, and that sounded. The storyline of the video will be really fun. I think so too. It'll be like mm, I'm like not feeling. I'm sorry. I'm not feeling well I know at, at the start yeah. and then by the end it will just be like vomit I was like I feel great but honestly <laughs> I'm like walking proof that SSRIs work because I feel so much better about throwing up nowadays oh my god yeah I remember when you you were scared of it it, it was my biggest fear like growing up and like I literally used to like cry and like hyperventilate I would do anything and everything to to try to stop myself from not throwing up even in situations where I definitely should have yeah. and like like it's gotta go it's gotta come there out there's like a famous one in college oh. which I forget oh. for the most part but I just remember you being like I cannot throw up right now like I literally can I'm so scared yeah and I yeah. was like, oh my God. And and look at me now. Look like, at me. Breathe. I'm puking all the all time. The time. Yeah, Everywhere. Really, yeah, I feel like this is the third time you've puked in like two months. It, it good like for literally you. is. Which like I should probably like get that checked out. Yeah, you should probably like e- figure Well, you know what? It you you said you you had a matcha. I had way too much caffeine last and, week. And and something else. And yeah. then I'm like Not alcohol. all that caffeine is just gonna like I don't know. I used to have a matcha at like five AM on an empty stomach. I've never felt sicker. I've never been closer to throwing up. There is no reason that I should have been drinking two Terrible. caffeinated beverages at like nine thirty at night. Yeah, and that, then like that's fucked up. Turning into Chapel Roan and then and then can filming a whole about, video. Can we talk about how I also started editing your your like videos because you were like, well, I just don't want to be up like super late like all the time and like rushing and like you are still I, up until like two be- in the morning. Believe me, like, and vomiting w- while I was like washing off the white face paint and, and like like cleaning off like the puke off of my extension cord in the corner of my bedroom Mm. i fully was like oh yeah i need to like fix things like i need to get things in check like i were like i thought it was fixed for about a week (laughs) yeah and now i'm back (laughs) in in therapy yesterday and i literally was like yeah having jake help me with videos is so helpful like this has been such a huge help i feel so productive and so on top of things and then um somehow i'm (laughs) two days later you're like "Mm, yeah i don't know it's it's not even two days later. It was like ten hours later. <laughs> like it was. That's how bad it was. Um, so oh I, I, I need to fix that. But this was this was extenuating circumstances though, because like you had family in town. Yeah, exactly. That you spent time with. How was that? My British cousins. Uh, Did they beat the shit out of you again? No. Damn. My one cousin. She she. It's an accident. It was a total accident. She she concussed me, and I have a big huge scar on the back of my head, and like that's why I am the way that I am now because like my brain rattled inside of my skull a little bit too much. I had like shaken baby syndrome at the age of like eleven. Shaken baby syndrome at the age of eleven. So funny. Oh my god. I know. One time someone pressed my soft spot too hard when I was nine. And well, look at you me. still pay for it to this day. <laughs> look at me. I don't know if anybody pressed my soft spot. I will say I fell off a trampoline at like the age of 12. Oh my and god, so did Gypsy it Rose. fucked me up. I have a huge lump on the back, which I talked about. That's why you have the lump? Yeah, it's because I fell off a trampoline. I think we should put a syringe in there and like try and like suction it out to get Babe, like the it's fluid bone. out. bone. That's not bone. That can't be Babe, bone. Babe, I literally, are you serious? You're going to tell me, you're going to tell me what it is. I got it. I got it looked at. Like you I got a cat insurance? skin. What? Do you have health insurance? <laughs> yeah, unlike some people. I fucking have health insurance. <laughs> you didn't for, I you didn't paid a, few, for it. a few months ago. Oh you my god, like, it was like that you were two or three it. months. <laughs> and I was always scared to drive because I was like, <laughs> well. <You're> like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> At least I have car on. insurance, <laughs> I suppose. I have purse. I have no car insurance. Have insurance. Oh no, no, I have car insurance. I have car insurance. I have no health insurance. <laughs> you don't have car insurance? I have car insurance. I have car insurance. I can't, don't scare him. I have car insurance. Okay, I mean, whatever I've you say. I've never not had car insurance because, number one, my mom would kill me. She didn't care about the no health insurance. She's like, well, be careful. We could not have chosen another, like, like I didn't think it could get... <laughs> I'm so sorry about him. I didn't think it could get any less comfortable than sitting in a bathtub, but we're, like, laying on... We're having belly time right now. Like This is like, belly time. Like, tummy time. Tummy time. Is that what they call it? Um... 
<laughs> this so, is good for my sciatic nerve. Does it feel good? Yeah, that was another one of my personalities. I graduated today from physical oh, therapy yeah. because part of it, part of my <laughs> issue, I have to be doing a lot of like um, press ups and a lot of back bends to, to help with my sciatic nerve pain. So this is like one perpetual long back bend. This? Yeah. This is really, I will say, it does feel nice on my lower back. It's I'm also like, making me a little I'm doing nauseous. Like, I'm, I'm close to like froggy pose. I like might throw spread. up in your crawl space. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> You're sure that you might? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, oh my god. Um, oh shit, I forgot the up was that outside. The what? Up was that? What? No. <laughs> the up was that? I forgot it. It's out on the couch. What is up with that? <laughs> I don't know. What's up with that? <laughs> cool. <laughs> Glad I got that one out of the way. <laughs> I love this dog. <laughs> I know. He's being so sweet. I love this dog. Do you, do you have anything to add? He doesn't even do that thing where like they sniff really like I wish Aww. that he would do that more like if could you start sniffing more and being more curious No, he's so shy. Look, he's like embarrassed to be on camera right now He's dissociating. I've seen you do this <laughs> Me? <laughs> yes <laughs> So, oh, okay throwing up a chapel roan crossed off my list <laughs> off my Um, I wanted to talk about how um, Connor Franta isn't boring Oh, you're like inserting yourself into that drama? Yes! Uh, <laughs> Chris Clemens. Listen, <laughs> with peace and love. I'm leaving that in. I'm leaving that Go in. ahead. With peace and love. What the fuck did Chris Clemens have anything to do with <laughs> no, that? No, literally. And everyone's like, he bodied. Okay, Twinker Bell. Okay, first of all, he didn't even come up with that. Second of all. Who came up with it? Who it? I don't know. Someone else on the internet. I guarantee that was not an original <laughs> thought. Okay, Twinker Bell. <laughs> oh, you don't think Connor Frant is boring? No. And I... Uh-huh. <laughs> I think, um... <laughs> I, oh, oh um, my god, speak your truth. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, like, getting flashbacks to, like, me crying when Connor Fritta came out. <laughs> what are we doing down here? <laughs> down here? Yeah, I'm like, every time, every time I realize that we're in the crawl space, I'm like... This, what are we doing this isn't here? the weirdest thing I've done. Literally, Jake filmed me like about two hours ago <laughs> at his local park with me and a bunch of vibrators yeah. and <laughs> and me with like a fake mustache on. Yeah, and it really it wasn't like for anything specific. It was just like she was like, I need some footage. I need some scenic footage of me and my vibrators. And I was like, uh, okay. And, and that's I don't what real I'm a friends good friend. Do. Exactly. I'm a good friend. And I don't that's ask questions. I asked a whole bunch of other friends and they didn't want to do it. So no. No. Wow. No, but I really don't think that Connor Franta is boring. I think everyone should be a little bit more like Connor Franta and stay in their lane, unlike us. But I think that he should stay in his lane a little bit. Or, or I think that people should stay in his lane. I think people... People should stay in his lane? I, I want to get in Connor Franta's lane. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I don't. I think he's nice. I was in love with him. That man was, oh my God, everything to me. And O2L, that was my man. Like. Oh, he was your O2L. Mine was um Kian. I also liked Kian. I lied and said that Sam Potteroff was my boyfriend in middle school. Yeah, why? <laughs> you and, you and Akakia Brindley were like, at it. I was the epitome of a girl who was like, they, they go to a different school. <laughs> but even worse than that, you're like, they live in a completely separate state. I literally told a whole bunch of people that Sam Potteroff was my boyfriend. And I remember people being like, he's like 16. And we were like... 12 or 13 and I was like he, he just says that he's actually younger and then my friends were like he's dating this girl named Acacia and I was like that's just for the internet that's just for show yeah it's a PR stunt I literally used to write text messages um I, I used to use this like fake app to like type up text messages between Sam and I and then I printed it out and brought it to school and showed it at my lunch table and then a girl said to me aren't your texts supposed to be like the texts on the right and aren't his texts supposed to be the ones on the left? And I was like, N no, I, I don't think it matters. And I literally, I got caught. I literally got caught. But like, 
that was like probably the one of the most embarrassing things I've ever done. But I, I think it's so funny to bring up now. But I literally, I'm used, scared of you. I know. I'm fucking terrified. I know. I'm sitting in this crawl space, first of all, with you right now, and I'm like, she could do anything. I took my cousin the other day, the one from London. I took her to go see um bison it, because they're like they live at a community college by my house. Oh, 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 bison, like the animal. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I was like, is this some bison like, or thought daughter? This, uh, <laughs> you took her, you took her to see your bison. Yeah, I my bison. I haven't even been able to meet him. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he's has he decided yet? No. I took her to go see bison, and she was. I was like, oh, I don't exactly remember like where it is and like how to enter this area. It's literally at a community college by my house. Anyway, uh, and she's like, I feel like you're. I feel like you're taking me into the woods to kill me, and I was like. Me? Taking you to the woods to fucking kill you? I don't just talk about your the time you concussed me on the podcast no. with insane resentment. Literally. And, and and like I bring it up once a every few in months. My eyes. Um and no, and then like once we finally got to the bison, I was like, see? I felt so proud of myself. I was like, see, I didn't kill you. See, the bison are real. <laughs> oh my god, like, you're like, scary. I you're like you really give Martha Martha? Oh, from Baby, from Rain, baby Reindeer. Reindeer. You really no, give. Not. I won't need to stop saying that. No, because <laughs> I'm sorry, but the fact that you like faked the Sam Potter We've messages, all done embarrassing things. I didn't do that as a kid. I was you innovative. have something inside no, of you. No, I was smart. I was fucking smart. I was we innovative. You were smart enough to get caught. Okay, not I wasn't smart enough. Like I wasn't like sneaky sneaky. I was like smart enough to like try and dupe stupid people. Who were you duped? Being Martha? No, all of my friends are at the at the lunch table. <laughs> because oh. my like oh, dupe. I thought you meant like duplicate like no, no, like, no. Oh. like like elf dupe. Elf dupe. <laughs> <laughs> no, my it's because I was like in love with this boy at my lunch table and he always had a girlfriend and would always tell me about him like swapping gum with her under the bleachers all the time. Oh and she went to a different school and I was sick and tired of hearing him say that to me. So I was you were like, so oh, tired yeah? of it. Well, I suck Sam Potter's dick. Okay, well, I didn't go that far. <laughs> I remember one time he did tell me. Keep it we were so young. We were, like, in the seventh Sam grade. Sam Potter told you something? No, no, not Sam. Oh, no, oh, oh, oh. that, that would have been, like, that's delusion speaking. No, I was in, like, the seventh grade, and the, this guy that I really, really liked, he was like, yeah, we had sex, like, me, me, him and his girlfriend, and I was like... In the seventh grade? I don't think he did. Oh, I don't God. think he did. And, like... Was it the porn star? No. Oh, no. okay, well... <laughs> and I was like so heartbroken and sad and he knew I liked him and he did it on purpose like tell him, like like when he said mm -hmm. that and I, I'm sure he was lying or maybe he wasn't I don't know he was cool so maybe he wasn't but <laughs> you're like I would have so <laughs> and so maybe he did I was like well I hope you were safe and he's like yeah I was I used two condoms and i like literally googled i was like that doesn't sound right and i like googled can you use two condoms at once for actual production and it was like literally like don't do that and i was like i just don't i don't know about two male condoms but two no no a female condom you and think that they're fucking using condom? female condoms in the seventh grade you I think no you think that you barely know, know where the vagini is I you think know that you're knowing your hometown sex education curriculum was like it wasn't real Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just thinking about him and like, why did he lie to me? <laughs> I knew people who had sex in middle school, but I, I mean like rumored to have sex, but that's like disgusting. I'm like, your little prepubescent body all over her little prepubescent body. That's Ew. disgusting. Ew. I know. That's why I'm happy I never had sex and still haven't to this day. I'm just, I really just miss my, my middle school crush so bad. <laughs> <laughs> he made me crazy. He made Move me on. so crazy that I lied about Sam Potter. <laughs> <laughs> I was not like I didn't like Sam Potter if he had rosacea. <laughs> you know what rosacea is? Why are you asking me if I know what rosacea is? Oh, I you literally taught you to use sunscreen. Do you have rosacea on I your on your you cheeks? To use, yeah, that's why you're so fucking your mean cheeks. to me. <laughs> See, this is why. Like, I literally taught you what retinol is, what vitamin C is, what moisturizer is, what sunscreen. And you're gonna sit here I, and ask me if I know what rosacea I is. Rosacea was like a blood flow thing. It wasn't like a skin thing. I think it can affect your skin, like dryness and everything. Oh, okay. I think it can. Do you think Sam Potter had rosacea? <laughs> Like in your in no, your like professional opinion, No, like he was a cute little cherub who had nice little cute rosy cheeks. Okay, I mean I don't think that. I think he had rosacea. He's divorced. You know what I saw on TikTok today? This girl, she was like, "My sunburn is so bad that I can melt coconut oil on it." 
And I'm like, first of all, coconut oil will melt just like in your hand. You don't know how to be sunburned. <laughs> and then, but the video she took was so close to her skin and there was like a definite melanoma on there. And everybody in the comments was like, you need to go to the doctor and get that checked out. Like you have a melanoma. I, I, and then someone's like, and then someone's like, oh, everyone's doctor's on TikTok now. And it's like, Shut the fuck up. We're just telling her to go to a doctor. That is an abnormal sized, an abnormal shaped. Yes. Big, I'm like, big, 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 big mole. Big like, mole. Due to the, the, the discoloration and the irregular borders, you are flirting with a melanoma. I do not mean to make fun of Adam, but sometimes he makes it so easy. And it's so oh funny. Oh my God. <laughs> we'll see if he, he actually listens to this podcast. We'll, we'll see. see if yeah, he gets because this you'll, point. you'll know because he'll text you. What? He calls me we're on the phone the other day and he's like yeah i probably should go to the doctor soon like i i do think i have like an abnormal like spot like on the side of my foot probably a carcinoma (laughs) carcinoma. (laughs) oh my god and and he was dead serious and he goes yeah i think it's probably (laughs) isn't that for the lungs (laughs) <laughs> Isn't carcinoma for the lungs? No, wait, I thought, wait. It's for the lungs. No, I swear on my life I'm, he said carcinoma. No, he definitely, no, if he, I mean, but I'm saying, like, he, he got it wrong. It's for your No, lungs. no, no, you're wrong. Carcinoma is a type of cancer that starts in the cells that make up the skin or the tissue lining organs, such as liver or kidneys. Wait, so why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> like, why are you laughing? I thought because car- he- I'm laughing because I was like, oh, carcinoma is like lung cancer. No, that's like the equivalent. Like, he was dead serious. It's the equivalent <laughs> of like someone like drinking a beer and be like, I definitely have like stage two kidney failure. <laughs> <laughs> He like, like I have a carcinoma. It's like it's like a very normal birthmark. Like I was like FaceTime me, show me, <laughs> show me, and he like shows me his foot, and I'm like, I I think it, that's just like I mean, a little. If he thinks it's a carcinoma, then go get it checked out. No, obviously, but it was it was the calmness, and I and I was talking to him, and I was like I. I really do think that you have health anxiety. And he's like, no, I, I'm really calm about this. I just think you're, I have babe, a person. <laughs> babe, you're projecting. <laughs> like jumping to conclusion. Like it's like as if like in all seriousness. And I was like, I'm not panicking about it. I'm like, I do have a headache. I do think it is a brain bleed. <laughs> <laughs> I've come terms with it. Don't worry. Don't worry. My foot, I'm not panicking. My foot does hurt. And I think I need to get amputated. <laughs> I have been throwing up a lot recently. And it has been bloody. I, I probably have, like, gastroparesis, but That's don't worry about it. That's me and shitting, like, blood. I'm like, I shit blood, and I'm like, yeah, I probably have, like... I talked to your mom about that. When? <laughs> when did you do that? A few months ago, you left the room, and uh, you were having tummy problems, and I said to your mom, I, like, whispered to her, I go, you need to make him go and go get a colonoscopy. I'm not getting a colonoscopy. Listen to me. And I was like, and I, see, this is the problem, and that's why I talked to your mom. And I was like, he needs to go get a colonoscopy. And she goes, why? What's the issue? What's going on? What's going on? And I go, ask him. Later on, like, later when I leave, ask him. So I didn't tell her anything, just so you know. Did he ever ask you? I don't remember. I don't think so. Oh, she doesn't care about you. Yeah. Sucks. My I mean, mom like, cares that's a lot not about like me. a dig. That's just like you, like, <laughs> like being a bitch and putting that out on the internet. <laughs> hey, no, thanks for if, telling everyone. If you told my mom that you had blood in your poo, she would care about you. You want me to call her and ask her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would you, mommy? Jake is chitting blood. Did you know? I actually haven't shit blood in a while. <laughs> is that what what you're saying? Did you know? <laughs> yeah. Did you know I haven't shit blood in a while? Do you want your Polish word of the day? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Or Polish phrase of the day. What? Oh, phrase? Or sentence. Oh, my God. We're, like, leveling up, and we skip this, like, every other week, and I barely can do one word. Okay, well, keep up. Okay, go ahead. Um, Mamo, ja zwymiotowam. Mamo? Wait, say it again. <laughs> ja. Ja. Zwymiotowam. Zim. <laughs> Zim. Miot. Miot. Towałam. Towałam. Zwymiotowałam. Mm-hmm. Mamo, Mamo, ja zwymiotowałam. What is it? Mom, I threw up. <laughs> Was that what you said in the in the corner of your mom's room at, at three in the morning? Mom, mamo, 
Imagine yeah, me. Zim yo sovam. That's like, imagine me looking like a fucking poltergeist because I look like Chapel. And Chapel Room doesn't look like a poltergeist, but I look like a Chapel Room, like a poltergeist <laughs> with like half of my makeup smeared off because the vomit, the acidity of it all just like burned it right, right off of my That's face. so scary. And um, I'm like, mom, I threw up. <laughs> you know what? On the, on the upside, like your face looked like really like, like puffy. Afterwards, oh, like Jesus. in a good way. Oh, you think it did? Mm -hmm. That that happens after you throw up. I know. Actually. One time I threw up Wait, so hard that I did? burst a fucking blood vessel I in my in my um cheek. Wait, you think I like look puffy? Jaw. Yeah, it was like a nice. Is that bad? Is that oh. not what you're going for? Puffy. Puffy. Like I feel like your face like looks nice when it's puffy. You got like the lip action going on. Like you got lip filler so that your lips would look puffy. No. Yeah, I, I got lip filler for that like post vomit glow, for that po post vomit plump. Achieved, and now and now your post vomit plump looks even better. Thank you so much. Um, do you love yourself? Hmm? Like honestly, can you say that you like love yourself? Yeah, why? I was just wondering. Oh, so you like love yourself? I do love myself. I was just wondering because I feel like a lot of people don't. Mm -hmm. Are you? Getting, I'm so sorry if you don't love yourself. Are you getting? Do you perceive me as someone who doesn't love myself? No, I'm just asking. I have a whole fucking YouTube channel with my name attached to it. And I upload you could still not love yourself. No, I think anyone, if you upload that many times a week, you're a liar. You do love yourself. You have to a little bit. <laughs> I just feel like... You love yourself enough to provide for yourself because you want to keep a steady income going. You love yourself enough to turn the camera on and look at yourself. You love yourself. Don't lie. Shout out to you all with who don't love yourself. Shout out to the mm. Alive community. <laughs> Shout out to the Alive Did we ever explain that? I don't think we did. We said that in... Oh my god. Did... Wait, did I put that video out already? Or was that from... Wait. I don't know. When did we say that? I don't know. A few times. Basically, Whitney Simmons, the fitness influencer, <laughs> has this uh, app called the Alive app, like, for working out, and I use it. And I, like, posted when I was done with my eight-week program... And I was like, oh my god, I love this app and everything. Like, shout out Whitney Simmons and Alive for this. And Whitney Simmons responded to me and said, thank you for being part of the Alive community. <laughs> um, something along those lines. And like Jake and I thought that was the funniest thing to refer to people who, you know. It's like, it's like Nicole was on like Suicide Watch or something. <laughs> and she's like. It's like it's like when people are like, I'm I'm glad you're here. It's like thank you for being a part of the alive Shout community. Shout out to the alive community. Shout out to the alive community. Hey, I love you guys who are alive. <laughs> I'm glad Keep you're in that. the alive community. I saw David Dobrik was like playing pickleball recently. What the fuck is up with that? Do you know what I mean? Jake, literally, like right now, like that sounded like something that would have been like in like. A really bad comedy sketch. I know. So David Dobrik's doing pickleball. Playing pickleball now. What's up with that? <laughs> Bring me the up with that. Anyway, um, so I asked Chat GPT to make me a diss track about David, David Dobrik, Dobrik playing pickleball. No, not no, just David Dobrik in general. Oh, um, so you're using Chat GPT. Well, this time I did because you were sitting in the couch over there editing your reel, and I was like, "That's what you were listening to." I wasn't listening to it. Chubby. No, because I was I was editing a reel and all I kept hearing through like my headphones, which are very noise canceling, by the way, all I could hear was, and he was a pedophile and he, what were you listening to? I was not listening to anything like that. Yeah. Huh? Jacob, stop lying. No, you I was were listening, listening to something and you were like, and then, na, 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 and then, na, 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 na. Like that's like remember. the tone of like the voice. It like sounded like the, like the Burger King, like foot lettuce. Na, 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 na. Check this out. I'm about to drop a rhyme about David Dobrik. Yeah, it's his time. He's all smiles with that goofy face. But behind the camera, there's a darker space. <laughs> Can you believe this? So here's the diss bar. Straight from the heart. David Dobrik, time to depart. They're oh, shit. ChatGPT is going to kill David Dobrik. <laughs> <laughs> AI, when, when AI gets like control of like robots, like big robots, war machines, David Dobrik's gonna die first. Oh shit, that's yeah. rough. I did not know about that. What, that there well, was a darker Well, shout out to space. the Alive community, not to David Dobrik though. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's not gonna be part of the Alive community. That's not a threat, that's just me oh like, my like, God. like predicting the that's future. Well, that, like, I'm not predicting the future, I'm not psychic, and then like, I'm not like posting a threat or anything Can you believe like that. that ChatGPT wrote that? I just didn't have I just didn't have the energy. They to said write. all smiles over here. That's exactly what Tyler the Creator said about the garden. Said all smiles over here. Shout out to the garden. You know what you posted? Um, 
yesterday that you were like getting tickets to something but you didn't post to what because you were afraid someone was going to swoop in and steal your tickets um it just said like 900 or 9000 something people in front of you the photo on the top is billy eilish oh fuck well i didn't see that what i saw <laughs> i just saw that i just saw that you were in line for something and i was like it better not be 21 pilots tickets <laughs> It just had better not be. You know be. the queue would have been longer than 9,000 in front of me. That would have been like... For 21 pilots over Billy? I know someone who literally has been posting on Twitter and been like, I stayed in front of my computer for 17 hours because he could not get tickets to 21 pilots. Because what the it was... Fuck? You have no idea how I hard... I don't have any idea. You don't have any idea how hard the clickies ride. The clickies, you know what? I that's, don't say that to me. That's what they are, the clickies. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, God. that's what they are, part of the live community. That's, like, their whole thing, like, stay alive, friend. Like, that's their whole, like, thing. What's that? Do they have a song that says... Stay where they say alive, that? stay alive for me. <laughs> You're actually a horrifying stay person. <laughs> like, you're so scary. Stay alive, stay alive for me. So but they, they spelled friend like F-R-E-N. And so, like, friend. that's, like, what they would say to each other. They're like, stay alive, friend. I, that's um, interesting. That's not the worst fandom there is for, like, a like a group. No, because they're encouraging their fans to stay alive. They're encouraging the live community. Oh, my God. Whitney Simmons and 21 Pilots should collab. <laughs> <laughs> they should have like their own part of the app. The what do you booty what buster workout with Twenty One Pilots? <laughs> with, with, what's his name? With Debbie Ryan's man, Josh Dunn. Josh Dunn. <laughs> Josh Dunn. I just saw a video of the two of them. Josh um, Dunn. And she was oh, guessing. Love, oh. She was guessing like based off the drum line that he was like tapping on the desk what song it was. And in classic Debbie Ryan fashion, she was like, <laughs> yes. Every time she got it. I love Debbie Ryan. I don't care what I anyone really says. Like her too. I love her so much. I always want to look like her. I always want to be like her. I think she's the cutest person ever. I don't care if she did Coke. It, it, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> like, you know, all those videos of her on the red carpet? Yes. I down with drugs, okay? Down to the drug community. <laughs> but if you're Debbie Ryan, it's fine. <laughs> okay, yeah, like she can do like a little I'm bit not of drug. drugs. <laughs> she can do a little bit of drugs. She can do a little drug as a treat. <laughs> Everyone was like, oh, my God. It was snowing over there. Like, oh, my God. She's on the slopes. Like, when she's I like, I made it. history. I made Disney Channel history. I don't care. Debbie Ryan can do no wrong in my eyes. If there's any kind of history to make, it's Disney Channel. She has the cutest little bangs. I like her. Cute I little think, husband. Does she still have bangs? I don't care. I don't care. That, she could be bald. Listen. I don't care. <sighs> hey, you look stressed. Stay alive, friend. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stay out of my fucking DMs if you are a Swifty. If you had tickets to the Eras tour, don't be contacting me. And don't be matching with me. Try to be matching with me on Hinge. I'm sorry. Like, don't. Because if, if I see a picture of you at the Eras tour, trust. It's an immediate block. Um, and if you were in the fucking parking lot of the Eras tour... Do you guys know what this is in reference to? Do you know what this is in reference to? This is in reference to a man that I sent to Jake, <laughs> who literally, they, they did not follow each other, they did not even know of each other, they did not match on anything, and Jake is like, oh, fuck this guy, I don't want anything to do with him, he was at the Aeros tour. I will not date a Swifty, period, like, down. I love I'm, how you're, like, already, like, denouncing him, and, and I, in, with more peace and that, love, though. he has no idea that you exist, and you just found out he existed. You just found out he existed in that moment, and oh, I bought that. <laughs> Sometimes I put that in my mouth. No, not this one. Sometimes we don't know. We don't you have a designated you mic. Mark, you need to mark them for now on. One that one that you can put in your mouth, and one that you cannot. <laughs> if I like... paid for them, can't I put my mouth on all of them? I feel like I should be able to do whatever I want. Do you think something bad's gonna happen because we keep playing with the fi fiberglass? Yeah, I'm already itchy. Really? Are you actually? I mean, but really? I'm always itchy. I actually just had to go off of my allergy meds again. Not by choice. You should stay on I them. Because I forgot to go get them. <laughs> oh, you should stay. I was going to say, you should, you should stay on them. Um, I got dropped by... Uh, oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> I got dropped by a cat brand. <laughs> a type of cat. <laughs> I got dropped by a cat um, food and wellness brand for supporting Palestine. Um... And that's, Fuck them. Well, yes, obviously, but like not because they support Palestine, because the opposite, they do not support Palestine. No, right, but it's just a shame because like now my cats are gonna starve. It's just like such a shame now because like that is the only cat food brand that I was feeding my cats, and now they're gonna have to starve, which is like a really big shame. Um, 
and like they won't want to eat anything else but i'm like now boycotting this brand so it's like shit yeah. you guys are gonna have to stay hungry so this has caused a lot of harm so not only did they take away like three months worth of rent from me but now they took away my cat's food Damn. and they suck damn and, and they have bad like yeah ideologies. that was probably the worst part the worst part was when they said that they didn't like that you were smoking no they had an issue with me smoking cigarettes fr fake cigarettes for my lana del rey video for my lana Which del rey is just cosplay crazy. that is the funniest thing in the world just say that you don't support palestine yeah. and that you are a bad person and support genocide don't say like also we don't like you smoking cigarettes just leave that out just leave that out. It was oh, fake. It you're was like, well, my cats love it. My cats the, love cigarettes. The caption, I think, like, literally says, like, fake. <sighs> Just so fucking funny. But no, I, was, I was not phased by it at all. Like, I was truly, like, I got the phone call, and I normally, um, like, my, like, stomach will drop to my ass if, like, I get any bad news or anything. And, like, <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. my stomach stayed intact. Your stomach isn't in your ass anymore? No. Wow. Yeah. That's exciting. Um, <laughs> that's exciting that that's you... That's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no, they're they're dumbasses for that. That was like truly. But I'm very. I was saying to you that I'm very glad that they did do that because yeah. it's. Just, I dodged a bullet. Yeah, I dodged a bullet, man. Those, and like I work, I have other. Fuck them. I have other cat food brands that have been great and good to. Yeah. Not only people but animals even more so, and so like I am happy to support them even more, which I will be like promoting on my pages and stuff. So you should. I am out of spite. I am. Good. Good. <laughs> I feel like a world is better driven out of spite. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, fun story. Not to change the subject and, you know, make everything about me. Okay, you're kind of good at that. When I was, when I was in kindergarten, um, I was the example during gym class of how to skip correctly. Can you believe that? No wonder you grew up gay. I know. I was Holy shit. I was nominated at a very young age as the best uh, skipper. The best skipper and uh, and and the gay one. <laughs> so, yeah. Damn. Thank you. Do you I think don't remember you're what a good skipper because you're gay or do you think you're gay because you're a good skipper? I'm probably gay cuz I'm a good skipper. Oh. <laughs> yeah, oh. cuz like it's like a choice. I skipped good I when I was little. I, I don't know about now. I don't know. I haven't tried to skip. Maybe maybe we I should. I don't think I want to see you skipping. Maybe we should go back to skipping. I think we should go back to skipping. I think it's the more efficient mode of transportation. It's like you know when people are like, put a little pep in your step. Yeah. That's skipping, bitch. That's actually like so funny that like I remember in school now, like elementary school, it was like no skipping in the hallway, and it's like why? <laughs> you know what? You were you were the example for for galloping because you know you're a horse girl. No, I'm not. I never you were been like, on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> I did they were used like, to get the girl with the horse face over here. I used to watch a lot of Charlie the Unicorn when I was little, and oh like I would God. quote all the time. And I would, Charlie. I would, oh wait, no, that's like that's Charlie bit my finger. <laughs> <laughs> what was Charlie the Unicorn? Wait, how did it go? It was like Charlie. Wait, what was the one with the llamas? Do you remember? Oh wait, the fucking no, 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 llamas? no, no. Come on, Charlie. Come yes. on. Come on. Let's go, Charlie. Yo, that was such a moment. I miss those days. But I used to do this really annoying thing when I was like in middle school where I would do like a horse noise. I would go. Are you ready? No. I would go. <laughs> <laughs> that was your Trisha Paytas. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like, you were like, they're like, and the answer to, to, to question four. B. <laughs> <laughs> I literally used to like text like that. Like I, if I was texting someone, like I would end it with like N I E H E H E H. You remember that thing where it was like this is this is when I type H E H E. I don't mean. I mean. That's you. No. Why are you like an evil like sorcerer? Like. What were we just talking about? Skipping, galloping. Um. I was the chosen gay one. Oh, you know what I really wanted to be growing up, which like. Honestly, like, says a lot about me. I really wanted to be hall monitor. I was. Really? That makes sense that you grew I up was to be an RA. And I was hall and I was been a, cop a safety. Heart. A student oh. safety. So, like... You are a cop. You still have the cop ideology. Me? No. Yeah. Wow. Because you were an RA longer than I was. <gasps> I needed housing. I needed housing. So what? 
I, I spent a semester as a um as a peer mentor where I wasn't enforcing any rules or anything. I was just like vibing out and like helping people with their classes and you spent two years as putting basically people behind bars. putting people behind bars. <laughs> <laughs> Me who like never had the balls to like knock on a door and be like, <laughs> Legit. can you guys quiet down? Oh my God, my first RA like bust. I remember I did everything completely wrong and then I texted Jack, our RA friend, and I was like, what do I do? Because um, they all gave me fake names. <laughs> I remember. That. I showed up in no shoes, um, and uh, like I didn't make them confiscate any of the alcohol, and I did not call the police. That's so funny. And they were like, and he was like, uh, so basically lie <laughs> on your entire form that you had to fill out, and that's what I did. Damn. Yeah. Sorry, Res Life. <laughs> Well, you didn't get anyone in trouble. Like, it's a win-win situation. Like, it looked good for you, and no one got in That's trouble. That's what I'm saying. I mean, it didn't look good for me. Like, it was definitely one of my more embarrassing moments in my life, where I was literally in PJs and no shoes, and I walked down... I'm sorry, what was that? No shoes. <laughs> Stop. I was watching... There's, like, a TikTok that I reposted on my Instagram story, where it's, like, podcast school or whatever, and they're, like, doing a mock podcast. One of them says something weird, yeah. and they're, like... Oh, hey class. So, so what happened there? And they were like, he said something wrong and weird. And then they were like, and, and the other guy didn't stop and make fun of him. So we're gonna try. <laughs> we're we're gonna try that again. <laughs> that's our podcast. That's every fucking podcast. Like I usually make it with like rice and salmon. Oh, that sounds good. And I add, I, I, gentlemen, I'm gonna stop you right there, class. Did anyone see where they went wrong? Uh, Brian mispronounced salmon and Trent let it slide. Very good. Thank you, host. Lewis. It's just too fun not to do. Yeah, I know, but then when I do it, you're like, look, he makes fun of someone whose English, not first language. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> um, have you seen... Oh my god, I keep thinking about Greta Thunberg. 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 <laughs> Greta Thunberg? Greta, Greta Thunberg, when she goes, I should not be here. <laughs> I should be in school. <laughs> I think about that all the time. That's literally what my, my cousin from England sounds oh like. <laughs> Damn. You're I really should not be. I should be in school. <laughs> um, have you watched the the video of Trisha Paytas where she dresses up as Sabrina Carpenter and Barry Keoghan? No. Like, like Moses. Wait, like video define? Like, like, like TikTok? Like the, oh, TikTok, yes. And, I'm and sorry, then, I thought you meant like a YouTube video. No, like they, they did their whole... Um, What's their podcast name? Just Trish Podcast. Oh, as, cute. As that. Yeah, I saw um, the TikTok. Oh, she looks so good. I know. She really, like, I need that shirt. This, I think I might get that for Adam for his birthday because he is a big carpenter. And <laughs> he loves that Jesus was a carpenter yeah, shirt yeah, a yeah. lot. That's cute. Um, I really like Sabrina Carpenter. She's, like, grown on me a lot. Was there a time you didn't like her? Not that I, I didn't like her. Or I did not like her. I just wasn't, like as big of a fan as I was now. Mm. It's really because of espresso. Like that was a game changer. Oh. That song. I went to I went to um to get coffee the other day, like at the new coffee shop by my house around the corner. And I asked them, I was like, can I got get a latte with two shots of me espresso? And they said that they didn't have that. They didn't have you espresso? They didn't have me espresso. Damn. Um, I don't know what I what, like I thought that I just I, think they didn't like you. Oh. Cause I've been to that coffee oh. shop and I said <laughs> And I asked for me espresso, and it was, it was that sweet. Oh, is that, that sweet? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Oh, I need to see that threesome movie real bad. Challengers. Yeah. I need to see that on my soul. We need to go to see uh, Challengers. Yeah, I think it would be. I need to see Zendaya and her boyfriends. Yes. I need to see you the know, boyfriends them, and Zendaya. You know, one of them was on Broadway. Yes. Yes. Because Mike, I saw Mike Face. He was good. Oh this my girl God. had like a fan page for him, and it was just like so funny because I can imagine my friend Kaylee having a fan page for him, like when we were young kids, because she which lo- one? The one with the one that the pale one. <laughs> mm-hmm, I'm sorry. Pale. <laughs> sorry. The other one. The other one. Not Mike Face. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what his name is, know. but he's probably more famous. Arguably, on my soul. I want to see what Challengers is about because I heard that a bunch of people were like, "Oh yeah, Zendaya." Um, by the end of it, like you end up hating her character. But I, I want to hate her character. I have never hated a Zendaya character ever. People are clowning on the, um, on, the, posters for it on my soul. On my soul. On my soul. What's on my soul? Nothing. 
What? Ah, uh, Zendaya and I have actually like a lot in common. Wait, what just happened? We were Wait, what Zendaya just happened? and I What's were I'm both. So? Zendaya and I were both on the cover of South Jersey Magazine on my soul. What? What's what? I'm a so. What are you talking about? Okay. Alright. Yeah. See, that's the water I face. was on. I was on it way before her, though, so I really was a trendsetter. Like Zendaya copied me on my soul. <laughs> <laughs> on my soul? Who said that? Fucking Tana Mojo? <laughs> Who said that? I don't know. That sounds. <laughs> on my soul. <laughs> that sounds is the equivalent of Tana Mojo <laughs> saying. Everyone, Team Bryce here on God. <laughs> even, oh even, the, even the security team, Bryce on God. <laughs> oh my soul. Here, the paparazzi team, Bryce on God. You're annoying him. Oh my God, he had enough. He's no, he loves me. He's pissed right now. No, he loves me. Stop. Oh. <gasps> oh my God. Did you hear him? Oh my God. He just he just pooted. Oh my God. Did he? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, oh my God. Uh, I just feel like you need to put your dog's penis away. Uh, what do you mean? It's away. Well, yeah, I know, but like, stop looking at my dog's penis. Uh, You're so fucking weird. Me. You're so fucking weird. You're it's always talking about cowboys pee pee, Tucker's penis. It's really weird. You know what? You're like my little brother. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't touch him. Not after talking about his pee pee. <laughs> On my soul. <laughs> 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 I've had that written. <laughs> I've had that written in my um, in my notes for like ever Did on my soul. Did you make that up? <laughs> no. It sounds like Julia Vox and like, <laughs> and like Tana Mojo. No, I didn't make it up. Get your dog's penis out of my face, out of my thumb. <laughs> <Out> my thumb. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just a trend on TikTok. It's like I've never heard you talk that. to you make a video with somebody and then after every sentence you're like on my soul. Can you, and you see how long it takes them? We are on different TikTok pages. Can you insert the video of the guy who looks like Bruno Mars being like a rare? Super rare. It's like a little video of a, like this little man who looks like Bruno little Mars. Little man? Oh, fuck you. Bruno Mars is a little man. We don't say that anymore. <laughs> we don't say that anymore. Fine. Short King. Short King is right. <laughs> and uh, no, I swear to God, like I was like, that's Bruno Mars. And he's doing a great job. What does he say? Super rare. That's Bruno Mars. That's a Bruno Mars. Song. Bruno Mars could sing that, <laughs> but it'd be like I don't know. There's like a trumpet in the background. <laughs> Super rare. <laughs> oh, on my soul. On my soul. <laughs> Jake and I were talking. If you guys saw the episode last week, where it's like you, you're given the options of several things that um, you were to experience like one last time. It was like either you get. Um, like one last hangout in the like in the with your cousin with your cousins or like one last sleepover with them or like um forget what they did to forget you. what they did to you um i have a new one added to it um feel your mom holding Ew. you back <laughs> feel your mom <laughs> your 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 mom <laughs> I, I I just feel your mom. No, I think that was so funny what they did. They did it on purpose in Stranger Things season two when like Will is like possessed by by the mind flayer and then <laughs> and then um, what's her face? Joyce is like who who am I? Will my boy? Who am I? And he, and he goes your 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 mom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen that show. Oh, oh, right. Okay, yeah, right, right. On my soul. Fuck Stranger Things. On, on my soul. <laughs> and um, I think I was actually almost in. I was supposed to be in like an extra in a movie with Finn Wolfhart one time. You? An extra bitch. Yeah, you don't have to talk. You don't have to say it like you. <laughs> like it's surprising anyone can be a fucking extra. But was Finn filming... was Finn was an extra in this movie. Yeah. Why? No, no, he wasn't an extra. He was in the movie. The movie. What it movie? Was, it was. Uh, it was some Stephen King book. It? No. It was another one. Like, it, it was a mini series or something. It? It was two movies. It was not a mini series. It? <laughs> <laughs> On myself. <laughs> On myself, I was supposed to be in. <laughs> me, and my, me and my theater friends love to say that. 
I was oh, supposed I saw, to be in I was that. supposed to be <laughs> in the Ariana Grande. I was supposed to be in the thing you next to me. I was supposed to be in the video. Me. Were you really? On myself. Yeah, um, on myself. <laughs> on myself. <laughs> um, no, like feeling your mom um, push you back. When when you oh yeah when wait you, back to that <laughs> when you stop at a stop sign or if she breaks too hard and she like presses you back against and you know her hand your against your chest my mom didn't do that but she like oh. presses you back and holds you back to ensure your safety um so that like you don't go flying to through the windshield your safety I'm sorry that you just like never felt that from your mom like I'm sorry that you don't feel safety in like the touch we've already of, established uh, my mother does not love me oh Nicole and I are going to be beekeepers soon. Are we, can we do that? Yeah, we're going to. Oh, we should do a podcast episode by the bees. I asked that. Yeah, we will. In the, in, yeah, we will. Sorry. I forgot about that. I know people we'll do in Poland week. who have a beekeeping thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Care to elaborate? No, stay out of my fucking business. <laughs> Stop asking me. Stop. Damn. I wrote this a while ago, but I think my government spy is like really lucky to have me. Why? I don't know, he just gets to watch, like, a lot of good porn. <laughs> <laughs> he subscribed to a lot of OnlyFans. <laughs> For free. Thank you, government spy. Darby, you're welcome, government spy. My, my government spy is, <laughs> like... It's like, is she throwing up right now? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay, who's she cosplaying as today? <laughs> <sighs> and also, like, why do you keep looking up that guy from your from your middle school who you like <laughs> sat on his lap once and Chloe Cherry slept with like why do you keep looking him up why is it so important that you sat on his lap did you like leave something there the snail trail maybe I don't like vaginas <laughs> you can't say that people are upset with you whenever you say that I'm not sexually attracted to vaginas yeah we know okay I'm just wanting to be that clear okay for all you Swifties out there <laughs> get that batch away from me Thanks for all the support. <laughs> Thanks for all the support recently, by the way, everyone. It's been amazing. It's been a dream. Shut up. It's been amazing. It's been a dream. <laughs> I forgot to go to jury duty in March. Yep. I forgot to go. Like, I never called her anything. That's on you. I did all, like, the setup That's for it. That's honestly on you because I had jury duty the same exact day. I'm not saying that it's not my fault. I just think that you should, like, take more responsibility I'm for say, your actions. Did I not take responsibility? I said I forgot. Mm -hmm. I didn't say, Nicole forgot to remind me. No, I, well, I just think that you're, like, really fucking stupid for, like, if someone <laughs> is just, like, <laughs> is constantly talking about their jury duty and that it's coming up and then that, like, you don't think to yourself, like, oh, my jury duty. Like, you stay in my business, but you don't think about your own. On myself. <laughs> <laughs> On myself. <laughs> I saw a license plate the other day that said gay. I saw that. Wasn't that incredible? Yeah. I will crash my car to take a picture of a fucking oh, Jesus. license plate. I a won't. vanity plate. I um won't. you won't? No. See, it's because you don't have that you don't have that grind set. You know what? I, I will never have anything like very distinguishing about my car ever again because that is something that brings me a lot of anxiety because like as a young woman who's driving out in public and has paranoia, I often get worried like, oh my God, what if other people can tell that like I'm a woman based off of like my bumper stickers and my fun like little trinkets in my car and everything and like I will not have car decals because you know what? My, my fear came to fruition because the other day I was leaving the gas station in my hometown and there was someone with decals on the car in front of me and just based off the decals, I could tell exactly who they were. I knew exactly who they were. And you know what I could do if I wanted to? Follow them home. I didn't, but I could have if I wanted to. And I did. You're so scary. Like I could have, yeah, but, but I fact, didn't. Oh, I guess, I guess that's just your intrusive thoughts. Yeah, sure, if you want to call it that. But, like, I just... <laughs> <laughs> your intrusive thoughts. You're an intrusive thought. <laughs> By son or intrusive thought <laughs> daughter. Intrusive thought. <laughs> Thumbnail. Wait, now I'm Mr. Beast one. <laughs> no, down with and a silly one. Everybody needs to be doing... Now a Mr. Beast one. I know. Quick, say something quippy for the end of the episode so that we can, like, quickly cut. Pop, 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 pop. Bye. 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 Have a good one. Bye. Bye. See you later. See ya. Bye. Bye-bye. Ciao. I don't know. See you later. Bye. See you. Bye-bye. Later. Bye.